What's up boys? As you can tell, I'm in my shop and I know in the last video I said, hey, tomorrow we're going off-roading. Well, that didn't happen. It's kind of a story. Uh, Natalie and I loaded up her Jeep, all the gear, drove to the off-road park and uh, despite what they have on their website and nobody wanted to answer the phone there, there was a UTV race, so we didn't go off-roading. So I'm back in my shop, but tomorrow, 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 we are leaving, Natalie's not coming, it's a boys trip, two day off-road trip to Vermont in peak foliage, so that'll be cool. So today we're gonna button up a couple things on the Rocklander, which is of course my Toyota Tundra. I don't like to use the word Overlander. Um, but I did add a couple things to this, I figured I'd show you. Uh, I'll get this to stay. So I, I like mocked up a, uh, a bit of a skid plate here. Obviously that's just a piece of cardboard, but it'll be done in aluminum. So that's kind of the look of that. And then I threw in um, this cardboard mock-up of kind of something what I want to do with the grill. Uh, I kind of want to mimic these pieces here and have them kind of go like that. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it yet. I might do it with tubing. I might do it with sheet metal and just fabricate something. I'm not really sure, but if you have any good ideas, uh, check that out down in the comments and, and let me know. But yeah, I threw a sneak peek of this up on my uh, Instagram channel, Instagram page, not channel, it's dumb. Um, so if you don't follow me there, you should go follow me, at Force Motoring. So, what are we doing today, you might ask? We need to install this. This is a wiring harness for my ARB fridge. Uh, so that way the cigarette um, plugs, like the 12 volt plugs that come with it, aren't really the most reliable. They can wiggle loose and give you mixed signals. And this way we're gonna wire this straight to the dual battery setup. And that way uh, we can run our fridge all night with no problems. So it should be pretty straightforward. Uh, I might run this to the S-Pod and have an on-off switch so the fridge can stay in the truck all the time, but I can turn it on and off so it's not working when it doesn't need to. Um, quick side note, this is the powder coat for the fenders of the Jeep. So if any of you guys are really good, you can figure that out. That's uh, what color my Jeep's going to be. So. Hopefully that'll get done sometime this year. Anyway, let's get this in, boys. All right, so we are gonna start under here. You guys remember my Genesis dual battery install. If you don't, uh, go watch the video. Also my S-Pod install. If you don't, go watch the video. So we're gonna start with this in here, basically, these will connect to the S-Pod. Uh, we're gonna have to cut these off, put smaller ones on. Connect those to the S-Pod. I'm gonna run the wires down there, down the passenger frame rail, and up into the cap. So I'm gonna start just kind of by fishing the wires out and getting things kind of situated. Okay, so wire drop down. Uh, I'm gonna run this along these brake lines here and then down into the frame and back that way. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure that I stay away from the exhaust, but I won't film too much of this because it's awkward and ugly down here and you guys will hate me. So I'll uh, get this run and then I'll show you where it's gonna come up through. All right, so I'm gonna get the fridge out of here just to make it a little bit easier to work so I can get the wire up through. Quick update, boys. My laziness got the best of me. So I was originally gonna run the wire down, 
across the frame rail and back up right at the fridge. I thought that I had an access hole back there uh, from one of the seat bolts that I wasn't using for all the bracketry back there. Turns out, spoiler alert, I don't have one. So I'm doing it the way I probably should have done it in the first place, but I was being lazy. Going through the firewall. Uh, the good thing about Toyotas is they have this little uh, like nipple that you can basically cut off and then it's like an access port um, to slide stuff through. They have it on both sides. So that makes it a lot easier. So I've got that through. Now I'm gonna run this down. Down here, from there, down this channel, and back to the fridge. So, not the way I was gonna do it, but probably the right way to do it. All right, so I've got the wire run up to here, and uh, the kit comes with this little block here. So basically what you do is you remove the uh, cigarette lighter function part of it, the 12 volt adapter thing, and then uh, you make some connectors. This goes in here, uh, sorry, this goes in here, and then your hard wire goes through here. So it's like this bulkhead that you can mount um, you know on something and it's got a little gasket and stuff so if you're doing it like in your truck bed or in a jeep where you want to watertight it will be um i'm going to put mine right here and the wire will run out the back of the fridge in there this wire will run behind there so i'm just going to drill a hole let's say right about here Okay. Got some sound insulation in the way there. Okay. Okay. And then we're just gonna run these through there. All right, so just gotta mount that up there. That's good to go. I'm gonna put my, my effects back in there pro tip guys if you have a tundra remove your factory jack because factory jacks good for factory tires we don't run factory tires so get rid of that and then you can store stuff like uh, freeze-dried food in there uh, we got like a camping towel and uh, most importantly we have toilet paper for the ladies you guys know what I'm saying we're gonna put that in there just throw this up in there. Got the essentials, you know what I mean? Know, know what I'm saying? Do you know? You know what I'm saying? You guys, do you know? You get it? Cool. All right, I'm gonna um, shoot some self-tappers in here because uh, I am on a deadline. We gotta go, we gotta go. So I'm gonna put a couple uh, self-tappers in there and then uh, next week I'll remove them and put the bolts in there. So anyway, let's do it. the fridge in here. All right, boys, as you can see from my, holy crap, that's bright. From my fresh facial hair, it's a, uh, been the next day it's the next day and the sun is out and uh, last night it got a little dark on me so my truck is still torn apart we're leaving in a short amount of time and I got the fridge back in I realized that I wanted to install this um, this is a wireless Bluetooth connector for the fridge that can go to an app on a phone and you can adjust the temperature and do all kinds of stuff. Had it forever and I've never hooked it up and I wanna do that because I think it'd be helpful. So I'm gonna get that installed real quick. 
and then we'll get this button back up and uh, get out of here. So let's do it. Okay, so got all the wires run. And we're just gonna go ground to ground, obviously. Now, uh, I don't wanna hear any comments about, oh, you should've used butt connectors. Yeah, man, I know, I'm in a hurry, all right? Haven't you ever done wiring before? You do it a couple hours before you're about to do something. So you rush it and you mess it up. That's like wiring 101. I think like if I was a professional electrician, I think it says that in the manual when you go to school or the textbook. So why would you have a manual? This will be fine. It's gonna be great. Nothing can go wrong. Okay, put this lid back on here. Done. Now let's test everything out, make sure it works. All right, so down on the S-Pod here, let's push that, light comes on. Excuse this awful glare. And back there, the fridge, she'd be working. Cool. So now let's go to our handy dandy iPad here. Oh, oh, it's one of those apps. That's annoying. So let's see if we can connect to fridge. Connect to fridge. Don't look at that. Top secret. Top secret fridge code. I don't want you, you Overland guys hacking into my fridge. Okay, apparently there's a pin. Okay, spoiler alert. Um, this thing kind of sucks. There's no pin number anywhere. Anywhere I can find no pin number. I just spent entirely too much time looking for a stupid pin number to a refrigerator. I'm not sure why you need a pin number to a refrigerator. Nobody's gonna steal my refrigerator's bank account. Uh, kudos to ARB for putting a stupid pin number in there that I can't find. They say it's printed on the back of the module. I looked on the back of the module. There is nothing on the back of the module besides the part number, serial number, so on and so forth. I've tried configurations of those numbers. No part number. So, no Bluetooth connect. So we're gonna just, uh, put a pin in that, LOL, and leave it. Uh, but the S-Pod working, fridge working, good to go. I don't need an app right now. I've lived my life this far without it, whatever. Um, S-Pod app is pretty cool, if that'll work, but who knows, maybe I can't get any apps to work right now. I am striking out, here we go. Please wait. Scanning. Bantam. No device is connected. Okay. Anyway, that works. This works. Yay. Technology. So, let's get the, uh, the back of the bed cleaned up, loaded up. Let's get the heck out of here. Let's get somewhere like this. That looks nice.
All right, fellas, we're all packed up and uh, we are ready to go. So we are gonna go meet up with the boys. We're gonna head to Vermont. So we're gonna uh, stealth camp somewhere tonight. So that'll be kind of cool inside the go fast. I'll show you guys as much as I can of that. In the next episode, I'll show you uh, driving to Vermont, stealth camping, and then we're gonna hopefully do some, uh, some serious off-roading. So stay tuned. If you haven't yet, you better subscribe because we're gonna take this on some, on some cool trails. So we'll see you guys in the next video.